Welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today we're going to be talking about the new sublimation printer that we're offering. It's the Epson Workforce Pro C5210. So if you've already bought this printer from us, it will arrive in the box. We will have taken it out of the box, made some changes to it, maybe run one nozzle check through it, and then it'll be repackaged. So this will be basically what the condition it arrives to you in. So at the moment, the printer what you'll need to do is remove any blue packaging tape that's been left on by us and that will be perfectly as normal in the instructions that are provided just remove all of the blue tape there will be one inside as well wrapping around the print head potentially there's a few still left on here that we need to remove but i'm just going to leave them on for now so for the ink cartridges in the box you will have a large refillable cartridge like this there are no chips on these cartridges. What we've done is we've modified the printer so that it won't monitor the ink level. So if you wanted to print a thousand documents and walk away, it would do that provided it's got ink in it. So at the moment, I've already filled this cartridge, but you'll have 200 ml of ink. You'll get 200 ml of each color. So that's 800 ml in total. 800 ml is capable of around 4,000 mugs. So it's quite a lot of ink. So to fill the cartridges, you take the plug off, you squeeze your ink in here slowly, both bottles, then you pop the plug back in. And to put it in the printer when it's when it's not in use, or when it is in use, this small plug here should be left open. That's the breather hole. It must have that left open. So fill all four cartridges and get them ready. So for the purposes of the video, I have already got some filled cartridges. So I'm going to take these out. These were what were, was already in the printer supplied by Epson. By Epson. We don't need those. And then I'm going to pop my cartridges in. So once the cartridges are in the printer, we're going to shut the door. And again, remember, you must remember to leave that open. So with the ink levels not being monitored, we do recommend that you periodically check them depending on your usage and volume. We wouldn't recommend that you run them bone dry. If you do run the risk of bone, running them bone dry, we did once during our trial, lengthy trial, on it, and it took quite a few cleans and a new maintenance box on the back to to get that to uh, pull its head back. So we did in-depth testing on this model. We've been testing this model for nearly eight months uh, in our offices. And the, the model that we have downstairs, we've done over 26,000 prints on that one model and the printer is still going. It's had more than a liter of ink go through that printer and 26,000 prints. We had one paper jam during all that time. We've had a few nozzle checks when we've printed large volumes and a few head cleans. And I think we've had one maintenance tank on that during the 26,000 prints. So it's an extremely reliable model and it's what we're classing as our high volume model. In, in our opinion, it's, it's comparable to some of the, the, the well-known makes out there that, that can print volume printers, certainly for a desktop. So this is why we've decided to go for this model. Part of our in-depth te testing meant leaving it for a few days and then a week and then two weeks and then even three weeks the printer was left for just to see can it stand being left for a period of time now obviously we don't we don't like we, we don't recommend that you leave it for long periods but that did include part of our, our ongoing testing with this model so in our opinion it's an extremely reliable for sublimation printing and that's why we're offering this model so I'm going to pop the print tray in and power it on and what I recommend you do, you power it on, run a couple of nozzle checks. You may need to run a head clean. Just make sure that you've got an okay nozzle check. Right, so into maintenance. I'm gonna print a nozzle check. Now, I'm just going to print a nozzle check. I know I don't have to do a head clean on this one because I've already done one in a previous video on this exact model. So if you don't have an AK nozzle check, then you need to run some hair cleans. So of course, for the purpose of this video, we do have. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a few prints off and then we're going to sublimate them. 
So I've already installed the ICC profile. It comes with a step-by-step -step book with that will work you all the way through how to change your settings and everything else. So let's just print some documents off. So I'm just uh, just taping taping these to an al aluminium sheet just so I can sublimate it. So as you can see, it's quite a quick print now, even though we have taken off the high speed setting. Right, so I'm going to pop this. been doing ceramic tiles on this. So let that run for 40 seconds. And I've probably got, let's have a look at this one here. And it is as simple as that. You take it out of the box, you refill the cartridges and you put them in the printer. That's it. It's really easy. Uh, really easy to set up and remember although you know this way this will probably be one of our medium price printers but it is designed for high volume users and it is, e is easily capable of large print runs just let that cool down a minute while I take the uh, take the next one so to be honest, I'll probably just do the to cut the video the video time down. I will probably just do the two sublimate the two. pressure there this time. So that's the first one. So I will do this like this last one because the the last one is uh, contains some blacks, which I haven't really shown you any other images yet. 
So the kit, as I say, the kit will come with the cartridges, 800 ml of ink, a pack of paper, some heat proof tape, step by step instructions and guides. Second one, as you can see, great colours on this. And we'll just do this last one. So this is a C5210DW printer from City Ink Express made by Epson. It's the one that we're using for sublimation for high volume printing. there for a second to pull down. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, that's the last one. On that's the video from City and Express for the C5210 DW sublimation printer. Thanks for watching.